Hello there and welcome to the Web News with our pick of the stories making the online headlines. Coming up on today's show, campaigning for the release of a Japanese journalist held by the Islamic State terror group. Calls to change the date of Australia Day and an insider's glimpse into a professional boxer's training routine. Taku Nishimai started the I Am Kenji Facebook campaign to work for the release of 47-year-old journalist Kenji Goto, currently being held by the Islamic State terror group. He's urging Japanese web users to join the campaign and reach out to both the Islamic extremist group and to the Japanese government to ensure the hostage is freed at the earliest possible opportunity. And as we can see from the hundreds of photos shared by social networkers on the Facebook page set up for the Japanese hostage, the campaign is already proving extremely popular. The pictures show men, women and even children holding signs bearing the I am Kenji slogan in solidarity with their fellow citizen. They want to show the world they won't give up and will continue campaigning until Kenji Goto is released. And while many in Japan have been showing their support for the journalist under the I am Kenji hashtag, others have posted using the I am not Abe keywords, criticizing the Prime Minister Shinzo Abe, saying he needs to do more to ensure Kenji Goto is released as soon as possible and doesn't follow the same fate as his fellow captive Haruna Yukawa, who was reportedly executed by the Islamic State extremist group over the weekend. Australians celebrate their national day, Australia Day, on January 26th. It marks the anniversary of the 1788 arrival of the first fleet of British ships. But there's been strong debate online since the start of the week, with many Australian web users slamming the ceremonies and celebrations, saying they ignore the great suffering and fail to commemorate the Aboriginal people killed during white settlement. A lot of netizens have taken to Twitter over the past few days, talking of Australia's original inhabitants who fought for their lands or were massacred or displaced when the first Europeans came to settle. Some microbloggers are even suggesting the day is renamed Invasion Day to highlight that for some, this is not a day for celebration, but a painful memory. Something that's prompted a large number of Australians to post under the change the date hashtag, calling for Australia Day to be celebrated on a different day so that everyone can celebrate and feel part of Australia's national identity. A similar debate is waged in the United States in the run-up to and during Columbus Day. Celebrated every year mid-October, it commemorates the anniversary of Christopher Columbus's arrival in the Americas, which many in the US find offensive, as no mention is made of the genocide against American Indians. Critics have suggested Indigenous Peoples Day be recognized as an alternative. Web users in Nepal have been posting under the Smash Chair Challenge hashtag, with photos depicting them about to throw a chair. It's in reference to the infamous incident last week when fighting broke out in Nepal's parliament, as tensions ran high ahead of a deadline to finalize a new national constitution. The behavior has been widely condemned by Nepalese social networkers, who hope their campaigning will prompt their political representatives to behave better in the future. This infographic put together by the Bank of America visualizes the economic impact of 2014 severe weather events. We learn, for example, that the record-breaking drought in California cost the U.S. some $4 billion. While in Bosnia, Brazil and Indonesia, heavy rainfall and severe flooding lost local economies hundreds of millions of dollars. Urbacolors.com is a collaborative platform dedicated to street art. It features an interactive map displaying urban artworks from all over the world. Web users can add to the already rich database by sharing their own shots. It's a way of capturing and cataloging these often temporary works of art.
With this video, boxer and mixed martial arts specialist Jerry Wilson gives viewers an insider glimpse into his training and the dedication and hard work that goes into preparing for a fight. We even get to imagine what it would be like to be the American athlete's sparring partner. You can take a closer look on the GoPro YouTube channel. Come on. There. Uh, come back with a cross. Come back with a cross.